Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the Instagram baddie hair and makeup tutorial. So starting with my brows, like always, I feel like this is the best way to set the frame of your face and it's always a good guide when doing your eyeshadow. I'm taking the Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate on a Sigma brow brush and I'm creating really dramatic brows. I always start at the tail and slowly make my way to the front of the brow as my brush runs out of product. And to create those really Photoshop brows, I'm outlining them with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. And this is just to give you a really defined crisp finish. It looks all whack now, but it will blend with your foundation later. This is an Instagram body look, so you want the makeup to look as flawless, airbrushed and photoshopped as possible. You guys already know how much I love MAC Lane Low, so nothing new here. I find it's the perfect creamy beige to cancel out all discoloration and really make the eyeshadows look vibrant. And then I'm setting the lid with this loose powder to blend out the shadow work seamlessly. You can use any loose powder that you have. Um, just make sure that it doesn't change the color of your eyelids. For my eyes today, I'm taking the Balm's Nude Tude Palette and first using the shade Sultry to carve out my crease. At first the colour isn't as obvious on my skin tone but it's a buildable shade which eventually creates the perfect transition in my socket and then picking up that chocolate brown eyeshadow called Sleek. I'm mainly focusing this on my outer lid to create a C shape. This colour is to pretty much connect to my crease with my upper lash line. And I can never finish my eyeshadow without doing my winged liner midway so here I'm creating a dramatic wing and really making sure it's long and razor sharp. And then once creating the wing, I'm gonna add more of that sleek shadow for more chocolate smokiness. And then buffing out the edges with sultry again for a well blended look. To smoke out my wings, I used Sirius, which is a black shade in the palette. And focus this where my wing meets my top liner and then working this in small increments only as it's really tough to blend out black shadow if you go in all at once and I did this using the Anastasia brush I received in one of her palettes for lashes today I'm using my model rock feline vibe set which are their double layered lash styles and grabbing the top hair and my duo glue I applied them right after applying my Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara. And then taking the same powder I used to set my entire lid, I heavily focused it to the inner corner to really open up and brighten up my eyes. Um, for foundation today, I used the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Tahoe. And I mixed it with my Cover FX Drops. As you can see, I got a tan in PG and my foundation needed to be a little bit more golden. So I'm just pressing this into my skin with a damp Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Now today was the first time I used the Morphe Brushes Warm Foundation Palette. And I have to say it's crazy, crazy good. I bought this with the intention of using it as a cheap cream contour and highlighting alternative and when I initially purchased it the guy at the counter said it's just as good as the Anastasia cream contour kits and in my head I was like yeah right but once I started blending it out with the sponge I was honestly amazed it has a flawless full coverage finish and it blends like a dream so I'm not sure why this palette hasn't been raved on the blogs yet and especially for the brown girls the color combinations in this palette is just unreal so this palette is the warm alternative um, and morphe brushes also stock the cool foundation alternative as well i then lightly set those areas with some loose powder and use the same product to bake the napoleon purtis mineral primer powder is my current favorite to bake under the eyes as it gives you the coverage and the yellow is perfect to brighten up colored complexion now while I allow that product to absorb into my skin, 
I'm going to contour my face using the same Morphe palette and like always my forehead under my cheekbones and jawline and then taking a separate beauty blender for the contour I'm going to blend out that product by pushing it into my foundation and then after that I dusted off the baking powder with Sigma's tapered highlighter brush and you can really do this in any order but I prefer to leave my powder on for about five minutes before brushing it off then to set the cream contour I'm using my Anastasia powder contour in Havana which is from the medium tan kit and I'm applying this with my Napoleon angled contour brush you guys probably noticed that I didn't apply cream contour to my nose and I guess recently I've just preferred a more softer approach especially for a feature that's right in the center of my face so I used the same Havana shade and applied it with a Luxie Beauty nose perfecter brush and then cleaning the brush I used the same side to soften the edges to seamlessly blend into the skin and then going back with the Sigma brush to lightly blend it all together for today's highlight I'm using Anastasia's kit in that glow and picking up that shade dripping in gold and like always focusing it on the highest points of my face. I decided to skip on blush today as I didn't want too many distractions and I just wanted to focus mainly on my eyes and lips. For my lips I took MAC lipstick in Sin which is a new favourite of mine. It's darker than MAC Diva and Hearts of Flame as I wanted a really rich red shade. Now that my lips are done, I can go back and finish my eyes. I took the brown shade Cold Sleek again and smoked out my lower lashes with a bullet brush. To tie my eyes and lips together a little more, I took the red shade from the eyeshadow palette Cold Sexy and only applied this to my outer upper crease and then I really blended it into the chocolate brown shadow as well. Now I have used the crap out of this product and I guess that's why the brush head looks a little flimsy at the moment. It actually broke off the wand while I was filming and all this black mascara fell on my face which was just awesome. No, but seriously, the product perfects your lower lashes especially if you're into that doll eye effect. And for my inner corner highlight today, I went back to Dripping in Gold from the Anastasia Glow Kit. And that was just to further tie in the eye highlights with my cheekbones. And that is the makeup look complete, guys. So let's get straight into the hair. I got this black grey ombre wig from Everyday Wigs, which also came with a detangling brush and a wig cap. I also have a coupon code listed below for you guys. And check out their stuff on their website. Now when I started putting on my wig, my fiancé had just come home from work and he helped out with the application and he's honestly just really good with styling me in general. If you guys have me on Snap, you've probably seen some of the custom made jumpers that he creates under Creative Agency and a lot of the shoots we do together are all under his creative direction and so this was just kind of like right up his alley even though he's never done hair before. <laughs> Um, and that's the finished look guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my take on the Instagram baddie look. Leave a comment below and also give me some Halloween suggestions. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.